In this video, we will solve a problem on wage rate and labor supply. This question was asked in JM Economics paper of 2021. The question is like this. The aggregate production function of a country is being given us. This is the aggregate production function, which is y is equal to 10n minus 0.001 n square, where n is the quantity of labor input. Uh, the labor supply function is being given us. That is, uh, n is equal to 55 plus 5w, where w denotes the real wage rate. Assuming perfectly competitive labor and product markets, the equilibrium uh, real wages, we have to find out the equilibrium real wage, okay? So, what we are being given? We are being given the production function is y is equal to 10n minus 0.001 n square, okay? And we are being given the labor supply is n is equal to 55 plus 5w, okay? And we are being told we have, you know, perfectly competitive labor and product market. Now, if this is the case, that if we are, uh, you know, assuming the perfectly competitive labor and product market, then equilibrium will occur at a point where marginal product of labor is equal to wage rate okay so this will be the you know condition for equilibrium you can also say a marginal revenue product of labor should be equal to wage rate and how uh, do we interpret it since it is perfectly competitive you know labor and product market we know in perfect competition in case of demand and supply we should have for perfectly competitive firm that price should be equal to the marginal cost in case of perfect competition, I am just trying to relate how this condition holds, okay? So, in case of perfect competition, we know uh, for individual a firm, equilibrium requires that price should be equal to marginal cost. Since we have here a production function and labor supply, that means in case of, you know, to find a uh, real wage rate, uh, let us say wage rate should be equal to marginal product of labor okay so i'm just trying to relate how do we use so in place of p we have w in place in place of marginal cost we have marginal productivity of labor okay so we need to find out the mpl here now mpl is nothing mpl is sim uh, simply the derivative of the production function with respect to labor which is here so let me write it here n because we have n uh, as uh, you know the symbol for labor here so marginal product uh, of labor should be equal to derivative of production function with respect to labor okay so taking derivative of this production function with respect to labor derivative of n is 1 so we are left with 10 minus derivative of n square is n square is simply 2n n becomes coefficient sorry exponent becomes coefficient and exponent is subtracted by 1 okay so simple power function rule now we have also 0 0.001 with this so we have 2 into 0.001 n so this comes out to be 2 ones are 2 Okay, so it will uh, become, what exactly does it come out to be? Sorry, we have 0 0.005, sorry, this is 0 0.005, here we have 0 0.005, okay, so we have here 0 0.005, okay, so I miss, uh, you know, represented the question. So, <clears throat> 10 and now this 2 becomes coefficient so 2 into 0 0.005 uh, 0 0.005 into 2 will become 2 5 are 10 2 0 are 0 so we have this 2 0 are 0 so we will get a 0 0.01 0 0.01 n okay simple stuff i have just taken the derivative of this production function with respect to labor to get the marginal product of labor okay now this is our labor supply let's calculate 
you know let us solve this for wage rate okay so we have n is equal to this stuff i can write it like this for you w is equal to transposing this here so this is n minus 50 for you or w is equal to n upon for you minus 50 for you upon for you which gives us wage is equal to n upon 5 means 1 upon 5 is equal to 0 0.2 n okay minus 5 you 1 jar so this comes out to be 11 so this is our uh, w this is our mpn okay let me write it again so mpn is equal to 10 minus 0 0.01 n and our w is 0 0.2 n uh, minus 11 now equate these two okay because equilibrium occurs marginal product of uh, you know labor should be equal to wage rate and it also makes uh, the sense here because profit maximizing firm will hire workers up to a point where marginal uh, you know product of labor is equal to real wage rate because it's not efficient for a firm to pay its workers more than uh, it will earn in revenue for their labor okay so there is no point of you know uh, giving uh, labor's uh, wage rate which is uh, you know less than their mpn okay so uh, let us equate these two so mpn is uh, let me write it here mpn is equal to uh, 10 minus 0 0.01 n and wage rate is equal to 0 0.2 n minus 11 which gives us let us solve it for n so 0 0.2 n if i transpose this n here so this will become uh, you know which implies uh, 0 0.2 n plus 0 0.01 n so 0 0.2 uh, we have 0 0.01 so this is 1 2.0 so we will get 0 0.21 n okay i have done you know numerical here I have just transposed this negative 0 0.001 to the RHS. It was negative, it became positive, and it was added uh, with this 0 0.2n term. Okay, so it became 0 0.21. Should be equal to. So now transposing minus 11 to LHS, it is minus 11, it will become plus 11. So 10 plus 11 is equal to 21 which implies uh, we can write it like this 21 can be written as 21 upon 100 and should be equal to 21 which implies n is equal to 21 into transposing this it will get reciprocated n multiplied so 100 upon 21 so our n is equal to 100 okay but we don't require n we need to find out the real wage rate okay if n is equal to 100 okay units of labor is equal to 100 to find the real wage rate just plug n is equal to 100 in this equation okay which gives us w is equal to 0 0.2 the value of n is 100 okay 0 0.2 into 100 minus 11 so 0.2 of 100 minus 20 so this is 20 minus 11 which comes out to be 9 okay that means our equilibrium real wage will be equal to 9 the answer should be 9 okay so i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe this channel like comment and share also thank you